today all eyes will be on the nation's capital. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu set to make a long away to White House visit meeting with President Biden and that's happening later today. Now a big focus of this meeting is to get the proposed hostage and ceasefire deal in Gaza across that finish line. The two leaders also set to meet with family members of Americans held by Hamas. Netanyahu will then meet with Vice President Kamala Harris then the focus shifts to Palm Beach. He will meet with former President Donald Trump and Mar-a-Lago tomorrow. This all comes after his speech to Congress. Our enemies are your enemies. Our fight is your fight. And our victory will be your victory. More than three dozen Democratic lawmakers boycotted his speech. Others sat in silent protest. And Netanyahu also thanked former President Trump for his support. The former president hoping to return to the White House next year. But before that, the two will face off right at Mar-a-Lago. Victor Jorges joining us now. And Victor, reaction to this anticipated meeting. What can we expect? Hey there, we spoke with... Uh lawmakers from here in Florida, really on both sides. But I can tell you this meeting, uh, this visit rather from Netanyahu to the U.S. has already given us tons to talk about after a good amount of Democratic lawmakers in Washington skipped or boycotted his speech in front of Congress yesterday. So now the focus shifts to tomorrow here in Palm Beach. So we're looking ahead to that. And Florida Democrats and Republicans we spoke with, they say they were both supporters of Israel, but both with different opinions of this visit. Visit. For example, Republican congressional hopeful Joe Kaufman, he's happy with the news, while Florida Democratic Senator Lori Berman uh, says she's a supporter of Israel, but she sees this meeting with Trump in a different light. Take a listen. Like right now, I'm wearing my, my Trump keeper. I'm just proud of him. I'm proud of the fact that he is standing with Israel, even at a time when a good part of the world is, is standing against her. The fact that he's coming here to meet with a candidate for office, not an elected official, but a candidate for office, I, I think is inappropriate because I think it's his attempt to put the th his thumb on the scale on this election, and I don't think that's right. So we know there's a large support or a large amount of support for Israel here in South Florida. So we spoke with a foreign policy expert about that. He says we can anticipate to see some protests tomorrow about this visit, but nothing major. Guys.